It is high noon on November 5, 2010, in the Friday edition of the Daily Journal's Economist. It's Mike Fry here with Dimitri Kalantzis. And Dimitri, you are quite a fan of the outdoor Kanky Farmer's Market, as I know. I was. And starting tomorrow, we're going to have an indoor Farmer's Market debate, debuting at the Kanky Community Resource Center. I have a sneaky suspicion you're going to be there. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I think I went to just about every one of the Saturdays over the summer. And I was really stoked to hear that there's a winter market. Something to do on a Saturday, even when it's cold. There's going to be some French nuns from Alcott when selling the uh, genuine that? Uh, croissant. Croissant. Yeah, I like the way you How's say that. They're going to get you one of the croissants? Uh, absolutely. Okay, that yeah, sounds good. Some baguettes, maybe? Uh -huh. That's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Okay, very good. Uh, the well, very well versed. You see. We just spoke about the weekend a little bit, and well, let's talk talk about some more some interesting things coming up in the Daily Journal. Dennis Yonke has a story about corn prices being significantly on the rise. Great news for farmers, uh, grain dealers, and the like around here. Some forty percent rise in profits is looking like, and this will have wide ranging effects. People spend more money. The periphery business will make money. It comes it's back a good to thing. It comes back to the it's community. Right back in here to the heartland. Does it mean that we're going to have to spend a little bit more for corn on the ground? It might mean that, Dimitri, but let's just bask in what we got right now and worry about what comes on in the future. Also, in our think section, uh, you're going to have an analysis piece on the election that just passed. I knew you were quite active in that, uh, in that reporting, so what's going on? It's tough. Well, I'll tell you this. I was at both the Republican and Democratic headquarters on election night, and people were tired. Even elected officials who ended up being re-elected, they're, they're just glad it's over. But what does it mean for us moving forward? It means a whole heck of a lot. So stay tuned for tomorrow's paper. Very good. Um, now we have the weather report coming up with Dennis Young, and he's also going to tease something coming up this weekend, and that's the time change. So let's go to Dennis. Hi, this is Dennis Yonka, the writer and weatherman here at the Daily Journal. I'm uh, standing here by the clock because uh, the uh, time changes this weekend. I've got a little story coming on that for Saturday. Hope you enjoy that one. But uh, first, you're going to have to enjoy the high today of only 44, a low tonight of 26, and then it starts getting a little better. Tomorrow, we'll get to 50 with a low of 32, and uh, Sunday, uh, that's when things get real nice. 59 and a low of 34. So uh, let's remember to change the clocks and change the batteries in your smoke detectors. And uh, let's just adjust to this, okay? Let's get back to the news. Dimitri, we're back, and we're nearing the end of this uh, week. We en entered the end of this election cycle. Uh, this is the news at noon is about over. You know, to close out the news at noon here in recent uh, weeks since Caleb Benoit left to France, we've kind of been struggling. He, he uh, ripped off Ron Burgundy and was sure. with that for a while, sure. and we kind of went back and forth. But I got an idea. What's that? Okay. Have you ever watched the children's show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? Oh, yeah, of course. Yes, I just love that show. I loved it when I was a kid, and when my kids were young, I would watch it with them. And I just love the way Fred Rogers closed out the song show with his little song. Do you, do you remember that song? I don't think I... I sang a song? Oh, yeah, he sang a lot of songs, but I really like this song. Guess we'll find out. Right? We're going to find out, because I'm going to uh, to uh, recite what the late, great Fred Rogers used to do. You ready? So you're going to sing? I'm going to sing. What do I, I do? I'm going to stand here, but I'll tell you what, Dimitri, in coming weeks, let's tease these news at Nooners. Okay. You're going to haul an instrument or two up we, here, and we're going to revive our uh, singing duet, our musical duet on Friday. Sounds good? Sounds great. Okay, let's go with the closure of Mr. Right. Rogers' neighborhood. It's such a good feeling. To know you're alive and such a happy feeling You're growing inside and when you wake up ready to say I think I'll grow six inches today It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling The feeling to know that I'll be back when the day is new And I'll have more ideas for you And you'll have things you'll want to talk about I will too. Oh, I just love that, especially there at the is. end with the idea part. I just love that. I lost the beat a little bit. I'm sorry. That's about okay. That. We're going to work on this, Dimitri. Okay. okay. That'll do it for the news at noon today and for this weekend, or for this week rather. To subscribe to the Daily Journal, call 815 937 3322. You can also pick up the newspaper at the newsstands. And so until Monday, we've already done the close, so let's just wave bye bye. Bye.